what's going on, y'all? I know you heard about Wendy Williams. So, it just broke news that Miss Wendy Williams has filed for divorce from her husband of 22 years, Kevin Hunter, a.k.a. Kelvin Hunter. Um, it's been confirmed by Page Six, okay? Wendy Williams' attorneys have confirmed to Page Six that she has filed for divorce, okay? And uh, I can't say that I didn't see it coming, okay? So we're just going to start from the beginning, all right? For me, I feel as though Wendy Williams' demise and her, you know, ability to tolerate what was happening started, I think, October of 2017 when she fell out on her show in that Halloween the Statue of Liberty costume. Uh, how you doing? Halloween uh, costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. <laughs> that was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. And she tried to lie and say it was because she was overheated, but then came back out on the same episode in the same uniform, in the same outfit. Um, she tried to say that it was because she was overheated, but th I don't think that was the case, okay? So, you know, it's been going on for years and years and years. Kevin Hunter has been seeing his side chick Sharina, a.k.a. Nikki, for going on 10 years, maybe even longer than 10 years, okay? You're not going to sit up here and tell me that Miss Wendy Williams did not know that Kevin Hunter was dating this girl, Sharina. You're not going to tell me that, okay? Wendy Williams has been doing entertainment news for decades. She has connections. She has wisdom, you know what I mean? And I really, truly think that Wendy Williams knew about this woman for years and years and years, okay? I think that Wendy Williams was content, and I think that Wendy Williams, you know, was just happy to be in a relationship and be with a man because, as she said before, growing up, she was very unattractive, she was overweight, um, she didn't have a lot of confidence, and so when a man walks into her life and gives her, I guess... You know, I guess what she wants, I guess. Um, you know, I think that she really appreciated it and valued it and became very loyal to him. Um, there's a clip of Wendy Williams when she was talking about how she never thought in her younger years that she would stay with a man if he cheated on her. Um, but I guess it was a situation where she found out that she cheated on him. He cheated on her. And she ended up staying. And there's a clip of her talking about that. If you told me when I was 25 years old or 30 years old that, um, that I would stay around for a cheater, I would have been like, you's a lie. You know, you are lying. I've got way too much to offer a man to stick around for him cheating on me. You know, at that particular time, I had my career in radio. I was making a great salary. I had vacation property, you know, of my very own. And I, the world was my oyster, you know. So I definitely thought I wasn't staying around for some cheating. Um, but I did. And I don't regret it. Now, what I think is... Wendy Williams put guidelines to the situation. Um, as long as he didn't get her pregnant, as long as he didn't do disrespectful things, she would put up with it, okay? Um, I think that she knew the whole entire time that Sharina was pregnant, okay? Um, I don't think that it really fully hit her until it came until she actually had it, until it was confirmed that she had the child. I think that Kelvin Hunter had Wendy Williams in a very controlled situation, and I think that, you know, I just think that she knew. I just think that she knew the whole time, 
And you're not going to tell me that she didn't know because for years and years and years, there have been slip-ups of this affair going on. Because if you recall, about five years ago, when Evelyn Lozada from Basketball Wives had her son by that basketball, I mean, uh, that baseball player, I think his name is Leo Crawford, when she had that baby by him, Wendy Williams went on her show and shaded Evelyn Lozada, basically saying that she had the baby to get money. Well, if you recall, Evelyn Lozada shot back at Wendy and basically said that Kelvin would go to her store, Dolce, Dolce, or Dolce, as Tammy Roman would say, but her store in Miami, and that Kelvin Hunter would go and purchase shoes for another woman. And then she gave the description on what type of shoes she he purchased when he was at her store. So we were getting hints even back then that Kelvin was flaunting this chick all around the whole United States of America and ain't give a goddamn about Wendy Williams. And you're not going to tell me that Wendy Williams, Miss Queen of Entertainment, Tragedy and Drama, didn't know what the hell was going on in her own household, okay? And Wendy Williams is a cancer. And one thing about cancers, cancers, they will put on face, okay when they get behind doors they will go into their shell and they will weep and moan and mourn but in the public eye you will never see them fall i.e 50 cents i.e charlemagne from the breakfast club 105 and there was a there's a clip on youtube of charlemagne on um some guy i can't remember his name i'll show the clip but it's a it's a video going around on youtube of Charlemagne talking about in 2008 when he worked for Wendy Williams' show and they were all on vacation, how Kelvin Hunter flew Sharina, a.k.a. Nikki, his side chick, who he just had a baby with, out on vacation with them. And this was back in 2008, okay? Situation with Wendy Williams, uh, you know, her trash-ass husband, Kelvin Hunter, and um, Sharina Hudson. Mm. You know, if you've been listening mm. to The Breakfast Club, you know, I've been telling y'all little things here and there. Uh, I give it to the brilliant idiots audience uh, since since the cat is out the out bag. The bag. Uh, you know, the reason I don't even rock with Wendy and Kevin anymore is because of Sharina. Sharina was the homie. That was the homie from Columbia, South Carolina, the 803. You know, I introduced her to Kev, you know, uh, back in the day. And the reason we fell out is because uh, we was in Jamaica one time, right? And when we was all in Jamaica, uh, it was a WBLS. When I used to work at BLS with Wendy, it was a WBLS uh, getaway. So we're all in Jamaica. Me, Wendy, Kev, you know, flew his little, flew his, he flew his, his mistress out. You know what I'm saying? This was years ago. This had to be like 08. Kev has his mistress out there with his wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Is, is Wendy aware of this? No, not at the time. I don't think so. Not that I know of. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, uh, you know, she wanted to get with Wax, right? His mistress wanted to get with Wax. Later on down the line, he got mad at me because he said that I was trying to hook Wax and Sharina up. So when I say that he's a legendary sucker on some legendary sucker shit, the reason we fell out is because of his mistress. Now, mind you, at the time, you might have known this girl maybe a year. You know what I'm saying? Man, you've been rocking for like three, four years. You might have known this girl for maybe a year. And you say, fuck him because you think I'm trying to hook her up with my man. When the reality is she just liked him. Like, so that's why, so if anybody ever wants to know why me, Wendy Williams, and Kevin Hunter don't fuck with each other, it's because of that. Now, Wendy doesn't know this. So when Wendy gets on Elvis Duran show and Wendy says, who, in reference to me, when my name comes up, like, who is that? Don't ask me about people I don't know. I can't even be mad at Wendy because I don't know what the fuck he told Wendy. It's oh, not like he went to Wendy and shit. said, yeah, yo, he tried to hook up, you know, my side chick with his man, yo, you know, so we don't fuck with him no more. You didn't go to her and say that. So there's no telling what he said. to her. So all these years, yes, Wendy has been hating you. Potentially. Yeah. Under 
false pretense that you don't even know. Absolutely. Because of this scumbag Kevin. Absolutely. Absolutely. What an insecure guy. Yes, he is. So you invite your side chick to this resort, I guess it is, while you Hedonism. You're... Oh, hedonism. Yeah, yeah you told hedonism me about this. One or two, I don't remember. And your wife is there. Yes. And you're upset that your side chick wants to get side dick. See, that's super insecure that's, shit. That's some sucker shit. So that's why, you know, that's one that's <laughs> one of the many reasons why I, I, I don't fuck with him. But I just, you know. So, again, we're not going to sit up here and act like Wendy Williams didn't know that he, Kelvin Hunter was messing around on her. And you're also not going to tell me that she didn't know that he got her pregnant. Okay? What I think is that... Wendy Williams was building her case, and Wendy Williams was preparing herself for this, okay? Mama might love Kelvin, and Mama might be controlled, but Mama ain't stupid. And I think that with all of the situations and all of the you know falling out on tv and coming to work in a broken with you know in her arm in a cast um taking hiatus entering herself into a rehab facility you know appearing to be loyal and put together and you know put putting out there that she's standing by her man i think that that was all a setup so that when that baby came she could smoothly file for divorce and have an amazing case against her husband and perhaps not pay him as much as he may get, may have gotten or may get, you know, if there was an evidence of abuse and evidence of, you know, foul play within their marriage. You know, like I said, I don't think that Wendy Williams is an idiot by far. And I really sincerely think that, you know, she knew all along. And she was like, you know what, motherfucker? You're not going to play. You, 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 you might have got me. You know what I mean? But, she, but, but, I, but, she, but you ain't going to fuck me in my ass with no grease that hard. You know what I mean? So, um... You know, honestly, I'm happy that Wendy Williams came to her senses. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he didn't respect her. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he he didn't respect her. You know, they were together for over 10 years. You know, you, you can't sit up here and tell me that he might love her, but he don't respect her. And Wendy Williams, you know, I'm not sure if she'll find love again. You know what I mean? But she definitely, ooh, excuse me, she definitely deserves to be happy. She definitely deserves to, um, you know, live her life. She's worked hard, you know what I mean? She's taken care of her family. She's had a successful career. And, you know, I don't know her personally, and I don't know what type of, you know, atmosphere that she provides as a person. But, you know, so I can't say with her, you know, I guess, quote, unquote, karma. You know, I don't know, you know, what that would be. But, you know, as far as what we've seen and as far as what's come out and how Kelvin has been treating her, she definitely deserves better. You know what I mean? She's a hardworking woman. And, um, you know, Kelvin is from Canada. You know, he moved down here to pursue an acting career. And obviously that didn't go anywhere. You know, Wendy met her goals. He didn't. So, um, you know, yeah, I mean, I just, I think it's crazy. But I definitely do think Wendy Williams needs to come out and talk about this. Okay? You talk about everybody else's business. You would be a real boss bitch if you came out and just spoke your shit and told it how the fuck it was, dust your motherfucking shoulders off, and continue, continued on with your fucking show making that coin, okay? That's just me. Now, what's for the future? Wendy Williams is going to have to cat, cut that check. She's, she's going to have to cut that check to Mr. Uh, Kelvin Hunter. She's going to have to. I mean, um, yeah, there's no doubt about that. If I was Wendy Williams, I would go through the divorce, pay him his little bit of money, and then come out with a fucking tell-all book. That's what I would do. Come out with a tell-all book, you know, um, 
do it on some Beyonce exclusive. I mean, bitch, you better have visuals, all that, because we will be interested. I think that it will sell. I think that people will buy, they will watch, and they will tune in to hear that behind the scenes story. Because you did a you did a very good job of keeping your motherfucking business under wraps. Now other people, you know what I mean, have put your shit out and have said things, but you haven't. You know what I mean? You ain't get drunk and go on Facebook Live. You ain't, you know, you ain't spill your own tea. So that's your advantage. You know, people may think they know what they know about you and may, you know, have quote unquote facts, but they weren't in the house. They weren't in the bedroom. They weren't in the bed. So I think that that will be a major hit. So you pay him his little bit of money, and then after the divorce is finalized, come out with that motherfucking sell-all book and make that motherfucking bag. And then go be with a nice, young, sexy, fine motherfucker and call it a motherfucking day. That's what I would do. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, um, like I said in my last video, if you viewed that, um, I'm just getting into this YouTube stuff. Um, this is Gen Y News. Um, news coming to you from a millennial perspective. Um, I'm new to YouTube and I just uh, am trying something new. And if you like this video, if you like my commentary, if you like what I'm saying, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this shit, comment, let me know what you think. And whenever something else pops off, I'll be back with the, with the news.